Hello, this Yamaha GA1, 150 centimetres long, has come into our workshop uh, storage area for assessment. We brought it in and uh, there was a problem because the piano was dropped apparently. Well, it's dropped on this corner, as you can see the corner's damaged here. Now, as a result of being dropped, this fall doesn't fit properly. As you can see, as I move it backwards and forwards, the keys are moving down. So something's jolted. My, my main concern is to, as to whether it's really moved the key bed right up, up, and that would be quite serious. Fortunately, that hadn't happened. What had happened, it, it had moved this uh, and loosened it at the same time. So um, we, we've tightened the screws and it's fine. Actually, I've loosened them again so, to, so you can see the, the effect of what had happened. So now tightening the screws, you can see the problem's cured. The keys aren't going down, they're not being pushed down by the fall. Now I want to use the opportunity to make some comments about the GA1 uh, because it's an uh, Indonesian piano and there's one or two features on it that aren't, aren't so good. Um, this piano hasn't been tuned for a long time and as a result the tuning's gone flat. That's about five beats flat. But the octaves have flattened more. Uh, it's because the piano is not such a stable piano. Uh, if you listen to that octave, it's really bad. That's just before the break point. Here's the break point between those two notes. And if we listen to the octaves here, they're very out of tune. Not quite so bad there. And that's because the piano is not such a stably made piano. Um, obviously less expensively made piano. It sounds really good, especially when it's just made sounds as good as any other piano but it just hasn't got the, sort of the long lasting this is 2002 so um, now it's uh, beginning to show signs of, of age we compare it to this uh, japanese made g1 re which is 1988 an older piano but more stable so even if this had gone flat this is a stock piano um, the octaves would still not be too bad those octaves are slightly out anyway because that's quite common but they're not that bad and uh, and we'll obviously, this has just come in, we'll obviously be, be fine-tuning and regulating this piano. But um, it has a, a generally more even tone to it. If you listen to the break point here. And let's listen to the G, uh, G, GA1. Now here's the GA1. And listen to the tone difference here. Those are quite pleasant sound, that's very nice. But this one sort of metallic sound so just to hear that again much more much more even similar sounds on the break point and back to the GA1 so very very nice area there but really quite tinny there now the other major problem with this GA1 is that, uh, or one of the other major problems is that the music desk is, is fixed, so you can't pull it backwards and forwards. Um, now let's look at the uh, G1 RE. The G1 RE music desk pulled backwards and forwards. Now this is really useful. Um, a lot of people use this, myself included. I don't have to play with glasses on, I can pull the music desk forward um, to adjust the focal length. Uh, that's a great advantage. And there's one other disadvantage with the fixed music desk. On this uh, G1 RE I can easily fit my lever without any problem and right up to the top. See I can tune these top notes without any problem. Now on the GA1, this is the middle of the piano. By the way it's exactly the same as the GB1 that's made nowadays. It's still on the market as a new piano um, and really isn't, for me, isn't acceptable. For a tuner you can't put the tuning lever on at that. You have to put it at a different angle like that in order to tune it at all. And then at the top end it's literally impossible to get the lever on. Of course, you could actually have a longer extended lever um, and you could also angle it back here, but it's not really very tuner friendly. So in summary, this, this desk on the GA1 is not very tuner friendly and also doesn't allow you to adjust the focal length, bring the music desk forward. What we really recommend if you want a short grand piano is the Blute the Grand um, Style 4. That's the same length as the GA1, that's about um, five foot long. It has an adjustable music desk, as you can see. Uh, it's an extremely well made piano. These are restored pianos, but they restore them uh, much better than, uh, than a new Indonesian piano. This is a fully restored Bluthner Style 4, one, one that we've restored um, and uh, in every detail they're restored so it's, it's really one of the very very best pianos you can get. Without being fully restored is still a tremendous piano. Um, as you can say we can fully restore it as well. Now not all Indonesian pianos are, uh, of this length are like that. This is a Kawaii which is also Indonesian and it does have a, a sliding music desk. It's a much better designed piano in my mind. And finally let's have a quick listen to them. This is their Kawaii. 
It's quite a heavy touch on this, very good for, for learning on, but if you're an older player, you might like a lighter touch like the blue now. This is the fully restored blue now. Just a wonderful piano. Uh, certainly of this length of piano, five foot, I don't think there is a better piano. And this is the GA1. Quite pleasant tone, it's a, tone, tone wise, it's not too bad. Really quite a pleasant piano. And the C1, slightly longer piano by the way, 10 centimeters longer. And it has a richer sound really. Just generally a better made Japanese made piano. And finally the blue, this is a reconditioned one rather than fully restored, though it's been restored by someone else in the past and it's very pleasant, the stock piano as well. So all, all the pianos are stock pianos except for the GA1 and of course we guarantee them for at least five years. So that was an assessment of this GA1 made in 2002 with a few extra thoughts thrown in. And basically it's a reasonable piano, it's not damaged beyond, terribly badly damaged by being dropped. We did have one where the frame was completely cracked last year uh, as a result of being dropped. That was a Steinway Model S, so it was very serious and that really wrote off the piano. In this case, it's not written off the piano, but it's uh, damaged it. Thank you very much for listening.